Just to sort of preface this whole thing, my welding background is of no professional sort whatsoever. Um, I bought a cheap welder, TIG, TIG machine, and I learned how to on that and just fiddle around making my own, doing, doing stuff in the garage on my cars. Um, I turboed my own Escalade. I, like, I kind of learned how to fab as I went. Um, I didn't go to tech school. I didn't go to welding school nothing i had no formal training whatsoever like i'm self-taught at home hobbyist so for those of you who may be coming to this video that are professional welders um yeah that's why i don't know what i'm talking about for some of this stuff that may seem like common knowledge to you guys um yeah i just i do this stuff started this for fun now i do it for other people but i'm i don't come from a a formal background so to speak so just so you know well, anyway, going to do an unboxing video of my new Fronius Magic Wave TIG uh, welding machine. Picked it up last night. You ready to open this welder, Can Wendell? Bro, yeah. Dookie's gonna be so butthurt. Where is he? He's, in, he's about to go test drive that car. You better grab him. Well, I'll wait for him then. Logan! How long are you going to be gone, Dale? How long? What are we doing? I'm um, ready to open the welder. Oh, I guess this will wait. I want to see this. What's it called? Fronius Magic Wave. Magic Wave from Fronius, okay. Straight out of Austria. Austria, wow, so it must be good. Yeah, see? Where does it say that on here? You can go to that address looking for me, you won't find me. Yeah, it says, uh, it says made in Austria on here. Yeah, see? It's exotic. That's some good stuff. I got your razor blade. You ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. You want, you want to do the honors? Do you want to do it? You can do it. Oh, I just really touched you. Split? I'll trade you places when it comes time to open the box. Oh, he might need the knife. Yeah. Maybe. I'm making sure it just wasn't a lift off. <laughs> Fronius. We're probably pronouncing it wrong because we're American idiots. I'm oh, sure it's, it's red. Oh, wow. Does it look nice? Because I think it looks pretty nice. It looks red. Looks nice. Here, wow. muscles pull it out. Alright. You haven't been to the gym in okay. a while. Okay. There's a handle right there, man. My handle's taped over. Well, you have a razor blade, I'll thank, just thank do it like a normal human. Oh gosh, don't drop it. It's a very expensive welder. Okay. Well, hold on. No, no, you don't go for the unboxing videos. You go for the little stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this is like, yeah, Christmas. We'll open the stocking first. Yeah, stockings first. I don't know what this is. Probably some, some gadgets, maybe a torch. Oh. It's these nuts. Oh, well, these nuts are in there. No. Nope. Oh, just Came some. with some tungsten. Com yeah. Some consumables here. Pretty neat. Nice case for that. Yeah, so you can carry them around and. Okay. See the case I'm using now is like that little wooden cigar box. <laughs> yeah. Now what do we got here? Osher approved. Cooling liquid for the welding. Because it's liquid cooled. Okay. And then we got this. That is the ground cable. This is the hose. These are the goodies. This is the nice box. What do we do with these? We don't uh, need these. Step one of the instructions, we don't throw the instructions that. away. That's oh, a wow. really heavy duty. Oh, look at these. That's you're gonna have to get a real you're gonna have to get a cart for this, a nice cart. Yeah. Not some harbor freight cart. No, we're gonna have to use it to make my own cart. Um Yeah. Or you buy a cart that's already made. What Good. if it came with one? What's that second box? I don't know. A helmet, I think. There's so many dongles on here. Look at that thing. That's look at a this. monster. I like got slap that on the table yeah, too. If you it's think. like a nice, like leather sleeve over it. Yeah, so you don't burn it. Nice and ergonomical. 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 Because it's foreign. Ergonomical. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can turn it. Yeah. Look at that. 
whatever direction you need. Let's go All right. buttons on it. Oh, this right here has more controls than my entire current welder has. <laughs> so that's a good start. Yeah, definitely. What's in there? More instructions. And good. then a fuse. Oh. Should we get an autograph? From who? Calibration engineer. There he is. Lena Benjamin. Is, uh, Thank you, Benjamin. Three year full warranty. All right, Dale. Let's All right, this heavy out. sucker out. It's big. Look how deep it goes. Look at that. Look at that handle. It's stainless. Oh, oh yeah. Here we go. This thing's awesome. Some power cables down there. We don't need power cables. We need a weller. This is the king ding. So are we going to do a fire up in this video or no? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're going to test it. So we're going to put the fluid in there. Your controls. Turn it to kill. The knob. Oh, yeah. That's nice. This even, the way the knob feels, it's Did real. Does come with a U.S. plug? It's real I'm nice. just kidding. It came with U.S. plugs. <laughs> Anyways. Back to this other box here. What's in this other box? Solid upgrade. We got one more box, Dale. I like your technique for cutting the tape. So precise. So you gotta have the pinky out as your guide. Oh, when in doubt, pinky when in doubt, pinky out. They <laughs> say never learned anything from SpongeBob. A helmet. Look at that, it's even red. Yes. And silver. This is how you spell visor in Austria. Bizarre. Well, it makes more sense their way, honestly. We're just. Look, this is made in Switzerland. Well, this is just a whole Gloves bunch of too. Fun yeah. fact I am partially of Switzerland nationality. Is it a jacket? Is it a half mat suit? Lit. You are a welding jacket. Man. I know a guy that can put your name on it. Who are you with a sharpie? <laughs> <laughs> this is an extra large. Look at these gloves. There's so much dexterity in them. You can just do so much. Like. <laughs> Honestly, this helmet I'm super pumped about because um, I was using a Harbor Freight helmet and uh, it was so bad that every time I would start an arc, I would just start it with my eyes closed or look away, because it never, <laughs> like, you know, you get the, the flash. Yeah. And on aluminum, before I would let off, I would close my eyes, because it, like, turned off. It, it, I don't know, it just, it, yeah. was, it was killing me. Well, it's supposed to be tight. You just gotta try it on. Why don't you try it on? I, I, I'm not the professional welder here. I'm not either. I'm definitely not putting it in an extra oh, part, yeah. so. it's Short here. Peronius appears to make a really nice welder. This model is a Magic Wave 230i. Let's go see what my old welder looks like right now. Yeah. So this looks like a Ferrari. We're about to go look at a Pinto. God, it's got amps and AC balance. That's it. That, that's all it does. Has no pulse, nothing. Well, that's a little old school. We got the job school. done, but I've outgrown its capability. Did you weld this with that? So all of this, if you've seen it before, it's yeah. all welded with that guy. So, you know, if you're like a pro golfer and you use bad clubs, you're still going to be good. But good clubs are going to make you better. But right. if you if you suck at golf, you can get the best clubs in the world, and it's not going to make a difference. That's true. That thing was like seven hundred dollars, and like it was a great starter machine. But it's time to expand. Time to upgrade to the nicer welder. And after using a more capable welder, like on Shane's Vega headers, mm -hmm. I mean, you saw the difference. Oh yeah. I was like, oh my god, I need a better welder. Oh yeah, this is my current box. The some oil company so that's the guy cigar who, box. at my garage he got these custom cigars and he give me all these boxes to put stuff in so definitely an upgrade on your new box as well yep 
I demoed one of these at one of their demo days uh, back in Pittsburgh, and like I just freaking left class, walked in there, and did it, and the that was like the cleanest bead, aluminum bead I had ever made. Like it was just like shiny. There wasn't a ton of etching around it. Like no matter what I do with my old one, it's uh if I want a clean bead with you know to get the AC balance going, like really clean clean it out. It's got just miles of white etching around it and it looks terrible. Mm -hmm. This one didn't do that to have a clean bead. That's the difference. That's the difference. What's up? MMA. Mixed martial arts. Are you willing to get RKO'd by this box for the purpose of no. YouTube. Can you do just, it for the fans. Can you do that again so I can do it better? We're just getting it all set up now, or I'm getting it all set up. Tanner's eating pizza, mm -hmm. which I will do after I get done with this. But what I thought was cool is uh, even the coolant lines, I screwed it up. Okay, well, you get the point. Even comes with this like nice freaking rubber cover with this Fronius on there. And it's, uh, I guess it's meant to be stay there so you can cover it up if you got to take it apart because it's got a little dongle hangs around on there and these are even like quick disconnects which is sick this the quality of the rubber and everything on here is just really good it's like very supple and now it's got pizza grease on it so we're gonna assume this one's the hot one because it's got the red connector on oh just like that. That's nice. Okay, well this is gonna drive me crazy. I gotta fix that. Look at this, just, just, just. Oh, wow. Good tactile feedback on this knob. And uh, I don't know what that's for yet, but we're gonna find out. So I'm like trying to pair this thing here. And it's having me scan a QR code to pair a thing. So uh, I had to create a user here app has all it even has like a neat little slide show to show you how to do it so I've created a user my name is Dale everyone's name is Dale here hey Dugan what's my name Dale that's better all right we got it figured out yes my phone's name is Vyacheslav I don't know why first iPhone named it that and I just continued it ever since that's how it'll be uh, okay. Well, I don't have any projects. Take wizard. What? Huh. Where else can you do this? That is insane. It tells you what to do. That's crazy. I mean, this isn't guaranteed to be like spot on by any means, but this takes a lot of guesswork out for like what you're doing. And they got all of them on there for the different types of machines they have. That's cool. So I could have like a setting for headers and ice tanks and then I could just set it up. I like this thing. Thermal efficiency. I don't even know how, how would I did, I don't know. This is this is so beyond me. Like I I'm gonna have to like really learn more depth about this stuff. I feel like this could make me a lot better. I'm pumped. So I've been messing with this thing a little bit here and it's become apparent that the more I get into it, the more I have to figure out. So I am going to save that for a separate video. So hang on and check that one out. But hopefully this gave you a good look at 
you know what the what the initial experience is like taking this thing out of the box and running through the menus. I mean, it's it's mind blowing to me all the stuff that it does, and I'm gonna have to take some time and really run through this stuff to make sure I got it set up right for everything and actually know how to use it. So hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.